Good evening. I'm Cliff Winchester, and welcome to Sports Center. As sports have been canceled for the notable future, we here at ESPN have been desperately grasping at straws for ways to keep you, the viewer, entertained. With limited forms of competitions continuing to occur, we've decided to follow around a consulting hiring manager as they interview candidates. On tonight's Not Top 10, we are bringing you the absolute lowlights from the interview trail. Starting out at number 10, we have Awkward Alan. Let's go take a look. Good morning, Alan. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, Mr. Longstreet. Thank you for this opportunity, sir. Please. People call my dad, sir. I'm just Dick. Okay, Dad. Uh, I mean Dick. Sorry about that. Hey, no worries. It happens to all of us. Your dad abandoned you too? What? What? Ooh, that's gonna be a hard one to recover from. Let's move on. So why our firm then? I think for me, it has to be the local staffing model. I just, I love the way that Bane really makes you- Ooh, Bane. You know this is a McKinsey interview, right? The firm name mix-up. You hate to see that. On to number eight. But that's not terribly me see. Um, we could also do neither. I'm gonna call that option C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really great. I think we've got some choices here. Um, how do you feel about option A? Um, I don't know. Okay, okay, so so, so not A. Uh, so great, go, yeah. So now we've got a 50-50 shot between B and C. I gotta say, I'm leaning B. Option C just doesn't seem like we're doing enough to turn this around. What are your thoughts? This is your case, Manny. I'm interested in what you think. Right, right, right. I think it's definitely not C, which means it must be option B. But that's also what you wanted me to think because it's a trap answer, so it's definitely option A. How about option D? The unemployment line. <laughs> All right, let's move on to number seven. Thanks for coming in. How are you doing today? Oh, you know, how are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, how about we get started? Okay. Um, why do you want to work for us? That's a great question. Why don't you tell me why you love me working here? Are you asking me to answer this question for you? Why not? Um, what do you think your biggest challenge will be joining this, joining this team? You know, since you already work here, why do you think that would be my biggest challenge joining this team? Please leave. Oh man, I think the biggest challenge might be even joining the team in the first place, don't you think? Number six. All right, well tell me about a time where you overcame adversity. Sure. Great question. Great question. Uh, when I was younger, I actually had a degenerative condition that required me to wear braces on my legs. And it was really tough emotionally and it was really hard to make friends. And one time these kids were actually chasing me and throwing rocks at me, you know, like really hard to make friends. Um, and so I was so scared and I just started running and I ran and I ran so fast and I kid you not, the braces, they fell right off. They just fell off. And I have been running ever since. Wow. That's such an incredible story. You're, you're an inspiration. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I'm just fortunate, I guess. I, I think sometimes life's obstacles are life's greatest gifts. Wow, well put. So I guess moving forward, tell me about a time where you had to work with a difficult teammate was in my past position and I was really close with my boss Andy, like really close. And then he brought in another gentleman from the aerospace industry. And this this guy, you know, he thought he had all of these crazy capabilities that were just gonna help him soar to the top of the organization. And, you know, they were really artificial capabilities actually. And so, you know, he didn't realize the, the gravity of it and I had to really talk him through it. And once he accepted that and I accepted him, uh, you know, we really had a positive relationship and were able to accomplish so much, like so much, you know, infinity and beyond, if you will. So it was, it was really positive. 
have you just been summarizing Tom Hanks movies? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Toy Story was animated. Tom Hanks isn't in it, technically. You should have picked Sully. Woof. On to number five. Wow. Really great job on the case. So just to wrap this all up, do you recommend they move forward with the plan? Yeah. Although the additional profits we're going to make by implementing my recommendation are stellar, they aren't going to matter after Joe Biden wins and his VP raises corporate tax. Your company is going to be a dumpster fire. It's going to be nationalized. All a bunch of commie bullshit. After the global elite Illuminati to wake up America, America first is the only recommendation I'm making. Trump 2024. Should have seen it coming when he says he plays the xenophobe on his resume. Turns out it wasn't a xylophone typo. On to number four. Uh, let's try some brainstorming then. How do you think we can cut costs at our summer camp? Uh, well, we could stop serving breakfast. Okay, what else? Mm, great question. Uh, okay, like, let's get rid of the air conditioning. What else? Interesting. Um, let's cancel parent visitation weekend. The counselors are their family now. What else? We could improve space efficiency by having all the kids share beds. What else? What the fuck else do you want from me? Go ahead and put the kids in cages. Yes. Wow, you're hired. Welcome to McKinsey. Oh, yikes. I think that's bad enough to round out the rest of the list. I can't handle any more of this. So on that depressing note, we now return you to our rerun of the 2017 Cat Herding Iowa State Championship. Back to the studio.